Passe. <laughs> happy Halloween! It's our Happy Halloween Fest. Bread. Feast. We're going to start off with all these courses and the Mountain Dew Bitch Black, and we're going <laughs> to run over to Fort Williams. Have you been watching Hocus Pocus all day long? No. I have. You have been. It's been on Well, repeat. I haven't been watching it. It's just been. But it's been on freeform repeat. It's like Christmas. I don't know why it took this many years, like 20 <laughs> years, for them to realize they should do this like they do with the Christmas, Christmas story. Christmas story. But I love it. Alrighty, we are en route. Oh, that's the terrible. word on the street is that the film strips are absolutely positively They're gone. gone. Oh, no. Well, it'll be nice when the new entrance is oh, open. Oh, snap. It's really zoomed in. It will be nice, right? Doesn't mean we can't miss the old, right? Right. Peter is on clown night because... Um... Our favorite security guard <laughs> from the boardwalk was just working security at Wilderness Lodge. And he remembered Peter. <laughs> I don't I know if that's that a good was... thing or a bad thing. I thought that that was why you were excited. Yeah, I am. <laughs> Look at this license plate. Oh, 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 oh. Not, yet, not, yet, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. Just a couple of hours too a soon. A little bit, a little bit later. There's so many costumes. I'm so impressed. One, do you like my Halloween spooky makeup? Ooh. Two. It's 16 year old Sarah makeup night. Did you know I used to wear this makeup every day? Three, we parked at Wilderness Lodge because... It smells like fall. That's why we parked here? <laughs> no, it just does. Um, because Fort Wilderness is a much more sought after place to go on Halloween, so we were worried about parking. But we don't mind a boat ride, right? No. And this is our favorite resort, so we'll start and end the night here. And on top of Sarah pointing out just now how many guests are dressed up tonight, but there's also as just as many people not dressed up at Disney bounding. So it's literally like you're seeing characters everywhere. Yes. Every age, every size. We decided everybody. to go like spooky vibes. Spooky vibes. <laughs> Confession Peter's nickname when he was. What? <laughs> I said Confession Peter's nickname used to be Pills. Pillsbury. Short, short for Pillsbury. Yeah, very people call me Pills. It sounds like a. That was on your thing. skateboard though. Pillsbury was on the skateboard. I know. Sarah. Oh my gosh. Look at the little fucking. What's stopping you from getting in there? I, there's another one over there. I think we missed the memo on what's up with these giant Mickey pumpkins. Well, there are like a lot of events here. Like I've seen a ton of people post on YouTube about like the parade, the golf cart parade. Yeah, but, that was during the day. But did you hear Don and Dan say they checked in? They're staying here. There wasn't any golf carts. They couldn't even. They didn't even have the option to rent. Wait, this is usually by the. They might have too. But look at the cool oh. Coco golf cart. We're gonna try to make our way over to the the campfire. Yeah, because we wanted to watch Halloween Town. We can stroll after. Yeah. Ooh. What? Look at it's a whole medicine store. Oh, it's the chipmunks. A and a place. whole and a whole campfire oh, it's sing a whole along. Campfire sing along. I feel like anybody who comes to visit the fort definitely needs to be aware that's very big and that you need to look at a map whenever you're figuring out where you're going. We've looked at three maps so far and bug spray. And bug spray. It is very buggy here. But yeah. I would say Ears to You and See You Real Soon both have some really good vlogs about staying at the fort, both in the cabins and the campgrounds. So check them out. If you're interested, is it spooky now that it's super it is. dark? It is. Okay, here we go. We're coming up on the movie. Not too late, maybe five minutes. But guys, I'm so excited. I know you can't see Sarah Bailey, but it's a spooky vlog. I can't wait to show you all the campsites. Mm -hmm. The we cutest families and the cutest, nicest people are out giving away candy and having just a magical time. Dog man. Oh, Grandma, this book is so neat. It has like all the stuff I'm interested in. Great, the weirdo encyclopedia. Thank you. 
That's it! How did you remember it, so? It sounded pretty, so I made up a song for it. Oh. Oh, Maleficent, her brother, her Marty, sister, her, her sister, cousin, her uncle. So it begins the Halloween celebration 2018 Fort Wilderness extravaganza. Go! Because this is, well, I got really sick because I realized that that's Mark who is a backup player for Yeehaw Bob. That's Skeleton Mark. Sorry, Mark. And look at this. It's like the food. <gasps> They're playing Million Dreams. They're playing Greatest Showman. Greatest Showman, Halloween, Mark. That's literally like 80% of my life. Oh, wow. How's that candy doing in your stomach? What? There's been a lot of these little skeletons. Hey, Lock, Shack, and Barrel. No, it's like Lock, Shack, Barrel. Ooh. That's how you guys say it. Look at that big, scary spider up there. And it's web. Ooh. Great America. It really does. Six Flags Great America. Look at this, this Bone Daddy family over here. And this is some neon, well, it's LEDs, but there's some signage right here. That's, like. that's Santa, Mickey. <laughs> you can't fool us, guys. Boo, y'all. <laughs> I like that a lot. And then a big old Mickey. We got Pirates of the Caribbean. Look at, at look at Dead Men Tell No Tales, The Curse of the Black Pearl, At World's End, Hidden Mickey even included. Ooh. They are not messing around. Oh, on Stranger's Tides. Look at, look at. It's, it's freaking bats. I love Halloween. <laughs> Santa, Mickey. I wonder if they literally are gonna like... I see you. They're gonna wake up, tear down that, and like bring him forward and be like, <laughs> it is our Christmas time. <laughs> Super spooky. We got some ghost penguins over here. This is definitely another house where they're like gonna take down Mickey and Minnie and they're gonna undo the ghost penguins and it's gonna be Christmas. That's so funny. I love that. What the heck is going on down there? It's really scary looking. <laughs> See flashing lights and fog. What is that? Oh my goodness. This is Disney's past haunts. Well, we also have the Hitchhiking Ghost, River Country, the Fort Wilderness Railroad, Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. Skyway, Snow White Scary Adventure, Pleasure Island, Star Tours, Wonders of Life, Maelstrom, World of Motion. We're trying to be, we're trying to play our cards right, and for the last time of our magical year of watching more Hollow Wishes than ever before, I'm now a huge fan. I wasn't always a fan. But this I year. I still think it's a little cheesy when they say, Paw, Paw, I love that. It's more than we've ever watched it before. And it's starting in about five minutes and we're hoping a boat shows up because if a boat shows up to come here, well, that boat's going first. So I don't know where the boat I just saw is going. So how about she starts in five minutes? It's gonna be from over there over in that neck of the woods. Okay, so we are two minutes away from the beginning of fireworks. 
Our boat is arriving. We need to get this thing unloaded. Looks like nobody's on it though, but we need to get on there and get onto this lake because this is going to be great. If we're on this boat during the last hollow wishes of the season, that is straight magic. Woo! said like we like said we were saying earlier like we weren't the biggest fans of hollow wishes sorry carolyn um but <laughs> we knows. weren't she knows she's helped converted us because we watched it three times right but she, everybody put a comment down below hashtag carolyn become a stacy fan <laughs> because the Earhart family are not stacy fans so <laughs> tomorrow begins the next season <laughs> How can you miss one thing but be looking forward to something else so much? Winnie the Pooh is a good saying about that. It's like, how lucky am I to have something that makes... You're so sad when it's gone. So sad to say goodbye to or something like that. We're home. And guess what time it just hit. 12.01. You know what that means? Our absolute favorite time of the year has officially begun because it is November 1st. We don't discriminate against Thanksgiving. No, but we incorporate Thanksgiving celebration into Christmas celebration as close siblings. Happy holidays, everybody. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.